All right, let's look at how to find the eigenvalues of a matrix. So if A is an n by n uh, matrix, the eigenvalues are the solution to this equation here, which is called the characteristic equation. Now, sometimes the characteristic equation is written like this. The determinant of lambda i minus a equals 0. Now, that's um, almost the same as what we have over here, except this is the determinant of a minus lambda i. So let's, let's do an example. So, uh, this one that I wrote in says, write, find, uh, write the characteristic equation and find the eigenvalues of this. All right. So the way we would do this is, this is our A. So we want to find the matrix A minus lambda I. All right, well, what is this lambda I? Well, in this case, we're dealing with a 2 by 2. So we've got a lambda here and a lambda there. Basically, it's just taking the 2 by 2 identity and multiplying it by lambda. So what we're doing is we're taking the determinant of A minus I lambda. If we do a minus this, we get the matrix 1 minus lambda, then 2 minus 0, 3 minus 0, and then 2 minus lambda. And so now we have to um, work this out. Well, we're going to set this determinant equal to 0. So to work it out, we get 1 minus lambda times 2 minus lambda minus uh, 6 equals 0. And we just have to solve this equation. Of course, we've got to FOIL this thing out. So we get um, FOILing this is going to give us 2 minus lambda minus 2 lambda plus lambda squared minus 6 equals 0. So we can rewrite that as lambda squared minus 3 lambda minus 4 equals 0. Yeah. And this thing, I believe, will factor. So we get, um, it'll factor into lambda a 4 and a 1 here. Like that negative and that positive. This gives us lambda equals negative 1 and lambda equals 4. So those are our two eigenvalues for this matrix. Uh, it's uh, fairly common when you have multiple eigenvalues to label them with a subscript. So lambda 1 is this and lambda 2 is that. All right, so notice something here. This was a 2 by 2 matrix. And it's um, it wound up having two eigenvalues. Um, I said write the characteristic equation. This is the characteristic equation here. Well, down to... Well, all of these are the characteristic equation. But notice, a 2 by 2 matrix has a quadratic um, characteristic equation. A 3 by 3 matrix is going to have a third degree characteristic equation, and so on. And so this uh, note up here comes into play. The characteristic equation has degree n, and thus a has at most n eigenvalues. Now, it's at most because, you know, you might have a repeated root of your... Um, of your uh, characteristic equation. Okay, before we do this next example, let's look at uh, something here. Notice uh, the matrix down here that we're looking at. It's really just the matrix we started with, A, but with lambda subtracted off of its main diagonal. So when we go down here to do this next example, find the eigenvalues of this, instead of writing out the lambda I3 here and all that, we can just go ahead and uh, subtract lambda off of here, take the determinant, and set it equal to zero. And that's typically what we're going to do for solving these problems. Now, I didn't leave room for this uh, example we just did, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to erase that. And then let's do this problem. So to find the eigenvalues of this guy, what we've got is 1 minus lambda, 1, 1, 0, 2 minus lambda, negative 1, 0, negative 3, and then um, 0 minus lambda. So we've got to take that determinant and set it equal to 0. All right, uh, taking the determinant here, we've got a couple of options. It's a 3 by 3, so we could, um, we could use the thing where we copy these two on the other side. 
But I think cofactor expansion is going to be the way to go here because we've got this um, we've got this guy up here and two zeros. So let's do this with cofactor expansion. So this is going to be 1 minus lambda times the smaller matrix we get when we delete those. So the smaller matrix is going to be 2 minus lambda, negative 1, negative 3, and minus lambda. And I mean, notice this already gives us one eigenvalue. But let's see, when we work this out, you get 2 minus lambda times negative lambda minus negative 1 times negative 3. I didn't leave a lot of space here. So we've got 1 minus lambda. I'm going to come up here and do this inside of here. So let's see, if we distribute that lam lambda across, we get uh, minus 2 lambda plus lambda squared. When you put that together, you get lambda squared minus 2 lambda minus 3. So I wind up with 1 minus lambda. And then this over here, let's see if it'll factor. If it won't factor, we'll have to use the quadratic formula. But I think it'll factor. If we make the uh, numbers 1 and 3, uh, if we make it minus 3 and plus 1, that will multiply out to give us minus 3 and then minus 2. All right, so our eigenvalues are lambda equals 1, lambda equals 3, and lambda equals negative 1. And I'll just subscript those for my solutions. And that's it. So this is generally what you want to do. Subtract lambda off of the diagonal, take the determinant of that, and it's going to give you an equation to solve.